we're going to make Italian lady fingers. It's actually a cookie recipe. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need four egg yolks that have been separated at room temperature into a bowl. You're going to put one third cup of granulated sugar into the egg yolks and start beating them. You want them to actually come out to a pale yellow in color. You're going to put one teaspoon of vanilla. Now this should really be beaten for about five, five minutes. But due to the video, of course, I'm not going to let it run for five minutes. But the longer that you beat them, the lighter the color of yellow, the better they're going to come out. But I am going to beat them just for a minute or two to show you. Five minutes is a bit of time to wait, but these cookies are well worth the effort. what they look like so far. And again, do try beating them at least for five minutes to really have the cookie come out the way that you really want them to. I went ahead and to save time and actually beat four of the egg whites just by themselves, nothing else in it. And as you can see, they came out with beautiful peaks very light, very fluffy. That's four egg whites that I went ahead to save some time for the video that I did in this bowl. Now you're going to add one third cup of granulated sugar slowly into the bowl. And I'm using it on high. That was the rest of the sugar. That was one third cup in the egg whites. Get to the bottom of your bowl on the side. Okay. So it will come out and look like this. Once you're done, this cookie comes out extremely light and delicate. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your egg mixture and you're just going to start pouring this in and just folding it. You really don't want to mix it or use your hand mixer. Now once I have all that egg mixture in, just go ahead and fold it. Now again, do beat that egg yolks for at least five minutes so they're a real pale yellow color. And then just fold your mixture together. And it looks like this. You can see how light and fluffy this recipe, this batter is. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour and you're going to sift it over your mixture. And that was three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. And again, you just want to fold it. Probably could have used a little bit bigger of a bowl. I didn't think the egg whites would puff up as much as they did. But I'm just, again, just trying to fold the mixture together without really beating it. We want to keep these cookies light and delicate. Now they can be used with coffee and tea and cappuccino. People dip them in wine and then eat them. 
They're used for a lot of different desserts or cakes. And I'll show you what that looks like after folding. And here you go. You can see the batter. Very light and very fluffy. I want to make sure that I got all that flour on the bottom mixed and folded well. And it looks like I accomplished that. The next thing that you're going to need is actually a pastry bag or you can use a Ziploc bag where you just cut the end after you seal it, cut the end of it. Or you can use a pastry bag with a number uh, six, a half inch across uh, tip. It's whatever you prefer. You can actually even do these with, um, with a tablespoon and shape them uh, any shape that you want or in the shape of a, of a finger. So now I'm just going to take uh, a tablespoon and fill my pastry bag up with the batter. You're going to need either parchment paper on your cookie sheet or lightly spray your uh, cookie sheet. I want to fill up my bag just a little bit more. Now this is going to yield you depending how big you make them, about 24 cookies. Now once you've done that, then just take your pastry bag out or if you're going to use a Ziploc bag or you can make the cookies with a spoon. You want to just on your cookie tray, make them about three and a half inches long and you want to space them a good two and a half inches apart because they are going to um, they are going to spread. I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a second. They don't have to come out perfect. You can always go back and fix them a little bit with your nozzle. I like to use a tall glass to hold my bag and there you go. What you're going to do is you're going to bake them at 375 degrees anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Start checking them around 8 or 9 minutes. You want them to come out with just a golden uh, brown color to them and they, they bake up very very quick. Once they cool on your tray for about a minute, <clears throat> put them on a uh, cooling rack and remove them with a spatula. I went ahead and made some to show you what they look like, and here you are. You can make different shapes, how big you want them, or even very small in size. Italian lady fingers. Give this recipe a try. I hope you like this one, and if you do, leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.